Fear Not, Be Strong is a book written by Swami Vivekananda, a renowned Indian philosopher and spiritual leader. The book contains various essays and lectures given by Swami Vivekananda, focusing on the importance of fearlessness and strength in one's life. The book is divided into different chapters, each exploring a different aspect of fearlessness and strength. First Chapter The first chapter of Fear Not, Be Strong emphasizes the importance of courage and fearlessness in facing life's challenges. Swami Vivekananda believes that fear is a natural emotion but it should not overpower an individual's willpower and determination. He encourages individuals to face their fears head-on and not to shy away from challenges. For example, if someone has a fear of public speaking, they should not avoid it but instead, face it by practicing and improving their public speaking skills. Similarly, if someone has a fear of failure, they should not give up but instead, use it as a motivation to work harder and achieve success. Swami Vivekananda believes that courage and fearlessness are essential qualities that help individuals overcome obstacles and achieve success. He gives the example of great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Nelson Mandela who showed immense courage and fearlessness in the face of adversity and were able to inspire and lead their countries towards independence and freedom. Swami Vivekananda also stresses the importance of having a positive mindset and believing in oneself. He believes that a positive mindset can help individuals overcome their fears and achieve their goals. For example, if someone has a negative mindset and believes that they will fail, they are more likely to give up and not try at all. On the other hand, if someone has a positive mindset and believes in themselves, they are more likely to face their fears and achieve their goals. In conclusion, the first chapter of Fear Not, Be Strong provides valuable insights on the importance of courage and fearlessness in facing life's challenges. It encourages individuals to face their fears head-on, develop a positive mindset, and believe in themselves. These teachings are relevant and applicable to individuals of all ages and backgrounds and can help them overcome their fears and achieve success in life. Chapter 2 The book focuses on fearlessness in spiritual practice. Swami Vivekananda believes that fearlessness is a prerequisite for spiritual growth and development. He states that fear and doubt can hinder one's spiritual progress and that one must have faith in oneself and the divine. To illustrate this point, Swami Vivekananda uses the example of Arjuna from the Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna was a warrior who faced a crisis of confidence before a great battle. It was only after he received guidance from Lord Krishna that he was able to overcome his fear and fulfill his duties as a warrior. Swami Vivekananda believes that Arjuna's story shows that fearlessness and faith in the divine can help individuals overcome their doubts and fears. Chapter 3 The book discusses the importance of strength and willpower in achieving success in life. Swami Vivekananda states that strength is not just physical but also mental and spiritual. He encourages individuals to develop their mental and spiritual strength by practicing meditation and mindfulness. Swami Vivekananda believes that willpower is essential for achieving success in any endeavor. He gives the example of Thomas Edison, who failed many times before he was able to invent the light bulb. It was his willpower and determination that allowed him to continue in the face of repeated failures. Chapter 4 The book focuses on the role of fearlessness and strength in leadership. Swami Vivekananda believes that a true leader must possess fearlessness and strength of character to inspire and guide others. To illustrate this point, Swami Vivekananda uses the example of Swami Ramakrishna his spiritual mentor. Swami Ramakrishna was a fearless and charismatic leader who inspired many people with his teachings and example. 
Swami Vivekananda believes that Swami Ramakrishna's leadership qualities were rooted in his fearlessness and strength of character. Final chapter. Certainly, the final chapter of Fear Not, Be Strong is titled The Way to Fearlessness. In this chapter, Swami Vivekananda provides practical advice on how to cultivate fearlessness and develop a strong character. The chapter begins by emphasizing the importance of self-discipline and self-control. Swami Vivekananda states that self-discipline is necessary to overcome our weaknesses and develop inner strength. He suggests that individuals should cultivate good habits and avoid bad ones and strive to lead a balanced life. Swami Vivekananda also stresses the importance of detachment. He believes that attachment to material possessions and worldly desires can create fear and anxiety. By cultivating detachment, individuals can overcome their fears and develop a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment. Another key theme in this chapter is the importance of meditation and mindfulness. Swami Vivekananda believes that regular meditation practice can help individuals develop their inner strength and cultivate fearlessness. He suggests that individuals should meditate daily, preferably in the morning, and strive to cultivate a peaceful and focused mind. Swami Vivekananda also emphasizes the importance of service to others. He believes that serving others with love and compassion can help individuals develop a strong and fearless character. By serving others, individuals can cultivate virtues such as kindness, generosity, and humility, which are essential for a fearless and strong character. In conclusion, the final chapter of Fear Not, Be Strong provides valuable insights into the practical steps individuals can take to cultivate fearlessness and develop a strong character. Swami Vivekananda's teachings emphasize the importance of self-discipline, detachment, meditation, mindfulness, and service to others. By following these principles, individuals can overcome their fears and achieve a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment.